Hey YouTube, Chris here. So I've been working on my 2013 ZX14R, Kawasaki ZX14R, and this is, uh, I'm ta I've taken the oil pan off to uh, have it shaved down a little bit, and uh, so it's getting scalped. And uh, in doing so, I did a fairly thorough inspection of what's in the oil pan and in the uh, screen that is the pickup tube. And, uh, and I found I found something in there. Now, for the record, there wasn't a lot of anything else that was alarming there. Um, <clears throat> maybe just the usual dust and, and a little bit of, you know, internal debris, but no, nothing, nothing, sh sh you know, alarming, nothing heavily metallic or anything like that. So, and the bike runs just fine. There's nothing noticeably, uh, audibly wrong with it. But, turn on the light here. And I'll show you these two little pieces. They were one. They came out um, just the broken half, but it was it was just basically one piece, just like that. And uh, that is aluminum. There is uh, quite a clear casting mark, as you can see there. You can see it's uh, it's rough and porous. And on the other side. It's, it's got a fairly, it's, it's like it's been machined or something like that. Almost like a, a flake or a chip from a, from a machining job or something. So I posted it online and asking what the question or what the possibilities of that are. It kind of concerned me a little, you know, it's not supposed to be there obviously, but uh, no definitive conclusion, a few different theories, um, I'm not sure any anything that I've heard really makes sense. I am in the process of taking the clutch basket out and just inspecting that. I do that on a regular basis anyways. And then in, as I was doing this, um, I people were asking online, you know, what some of the tolerances were, if I could tell, you know, if there's excessive wear or end play in the crank or anything. And I didn't, I haven't found anything that's alarming. The one thing I did that I thought was kind of interesting, there was a point on the crank at the bottom between one of the main, uh, end, uh, main, main bearing caps where you can stick a feeler gauge. And, uh, and so I, uh, I tested it. I had to use a combination of some different feelers there. You can see the one side was, um, the right hand side was it pushed one way and the left was the other way. And then this was the, um, the conclusion to my mathematical calculation. And uh, so point is you can test uh, end play, crank end play, just by pulling the oil pan off and having a good look in there, knowing where to uh, stick the feeler gauges. And uh, nothing nothing alarming in that, in that realm. So yeah, I'll carry on and just put it back together as soon as I get my oil pan back. And uh, we'll see uh, see how it works. It sounded fine when I shut it off, so I don't see any reason to mistrust it. But uh, yeah, a little bit alarming. I uh, wondered if maybe somebody else had seen something like this in their bike. And I uh, thought I'd just post it. All right, that's all for now.